Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to audit who created the jobs in SQL Server. I mean like some kind of auditing. Okay, so we can achieve using triggers and uh, like uh, database auditing. Uh, but I, as of now today I am going, going to through triggers. Uh, so I am going to create a table to log all these changes. Okay, in MSDB. So the database is already there. Okay. Now I'm going to trigger the, uh, create a trigger so on sys jobs table so whenever the job is created obviously uh, there is I mean entry is going to get uh, I mean an entry uh, respective entry is going to uh, enter into this table so that going it is going to capture that and it is adding that login information to this uh, uh, into this table okay so go on create the table yep yeah okay our database is also there okay mm, let's do go msdb uh, go to programmability database triggers no it's not there refresh security no so why do you just go and drop drop Okay, drop the trigger yep now change to create okay now go on create so okay I have created the job so let's discuss about the limitations for now okay as of now the trigger cannot track if job is alter drop or rename so it cannot track the existing job is modified okay so it can track only the first step for example if i have created the job with more than two steps okay so it can track only one okay as of now these are the limitations and uh, so let's get into the practical i have created all the tables and triggers so go job ta type iap your job owner name is SA. Mm, SA. Okay, go to steps, create step one, select that other version. Okay, now go to MSDB. now view the table so uh, these are all created before okay so now so this is the current update job was created that uh, job was created with ap the step uh, job name is ac okay jo job name okay so there is no step okay so here we will have one column uh, so these are all some kind of information to know that uh, who created the job at what it created uh, who is the login that created job everything okay so here we are going to add some results set so that uh, everybody can see what it, uh, result is going to mean by seeing that info it will come in excel format i think uh, so if you code that xml and it will open that it will we have to search manually so as of now i am uh, i mean my requirement is that just like what is the job name okay who created the job these two the main parameters i need that so in further i will add that who deleted and who if the job is modified and everything i will uh, add this to this trigger i hope you may like this video thank you